Hey guys, so I'm here in Berlin and I just wanted to give you the opportunity to get a little bit of a sneak peek. So the Venice 2 is made uh, with the same size of the Venice 1, but it's uh, just some tiny changes. So the body itself is so close to the body of uh, Venice 1. Uh, as you notice, the R7 is no longer needed. So you can have uh, XOCN recording in ST, in LT and in XT. All of the three flavors are available inside the body. So the AXS cards go directly inside the body itself. Because it's now a uh, new 8K resolution, uh, some of the cards that are on, um, on the market today, so the S24 and the S48 media, is more or less supported in every single flavor of the new uh, XOCN in 8K. Although, when you start going into the high bandwidth, like, for example, uh, XOCN XT in 8K, you would need some of the new cards that we announced, which are faster in terms of writing speed. So the S66 cards, that will be available in one terabyte. You need those to be able to do this. Um, apart from that, um, the camera workflow is the same. So the SDK information has been sent to all the NLEs and hopefully that should be available for version one in the release of this camera in February. So if anybody's complaining about the workflow, please get them to push directly to Adobe, to Baselight or to uh, Resolve uh, so they can get the latest into, uh, SDK updated into the NLE. This is not Sony's job, we already gave them this information. Um, the sensor itself is an Exmor RS sensor, so it's an 8K sensor, very similar to what we introduced with the Alpha 1. So it's the same type of photosite, so it's still really fast readout speed, but it doesn't have the autofocus built in. So it's a manual focus, but it's got the increased uh, dynamic range, so 16 uh, stops of dynamic range. We've got a much better signal to noise ratio. We got a nicer and a lighter um, sensitivity. So the S-Log3 in this camera is instead of being 500 to 2500 when you switch between the dual base ISO, it's going to be 800 and 3200 when you switch between the two. Um, we also changed some of the workflow, some of the limitations that were in the Venice 1 in the hardware capability. So the Ethernet port has been moved to decide where you have the outputs. And the Ethernet port has also been possible to now send information from the computer directly into the camera itself. So if you might remember, if you wanted to have a, a cube files, so lookup tables, you had to go through the SD card. Now you can also do that through the Ethernet port. Again, a quality of life. Uh, we also made it possible for the monitor signal to not only support false color, but a lookup table at the same time. That was a limitation in the hardware in version one, and that's now been changed in actually the Venice 2. So, so again, lots of feedback that has been put into this. Uh, the menu operation itself, we've moved some of the points where you actually have this. So um, we've been asking ACs, doing some interviews, and the ACs have been saying which parts do they use more often than others, and they have been changed in the position in the menu. So it's still the same workflow, it's very similar, but it might have a different name, or it might have a different position from where you used to. One example is an audio engineer needs to have a time code and gen lock. Those were two different places places in the menu, that is now in the same place in the menu. Apart from that, um, yeah, I mean, it's more or less the same uh, in size. Of course, the Rialto still works with the Venice 2, and the 6K sensor works with the Rialto on the Venice 2. The 8K sensor does not work with the Rialto in the Venice 2, because of the cable does not support the bandwidth of the twice amount of pixels that's in the 8K sensor. But just so you know, it's not possible, but it is with the 6K sensor to use the Rialto, even though it's the new body. Let me know if there's anything else you need. I'm here to help you. And of course, we got the support from Japan if there's any questions that is critical from the customers. Good luck.